Ladies and gentlemen, Dublin, the wait is over. Thank you for joining us this evening at the National Stadium, Dublin, the home of Irish boxing. I'm delighted to welcome you all to The Return, proudly brought to you by Mr. Barry Walsh for Elite and Sheer Sports. Our medical team ringside this evening are medical consultant John McKeever, Dr. L. Safi Baha, and to just to mention, we are live on pay-per-view. This evening's boxing is sanctioned by the, Brit the Boxing Union of Ireland, supervisor in charge, Michael Cullen. Your referees in charge of all matches tonight, Emil Teed, David Irving, and Podrick O'Rockdegall, and your timekeeper, Alex McKenzie. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready to see some action, make some noise! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for six rounds in a super welterweight contest. Your referee in charge of the action, Podrick O'Rockdegall, and your timekeeper, Alex McKenzie. And now, introducing two of you first, Fighting out of the blue corner. He breaks through the ring his 14th professional appearance tonight, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Benaventura, Colombia. Please welcome Ruben Angulo. And now introducing his opponent across the ring in the red corner, officially weighed in at 11 stone even. He is unbeaten, ladies and gentlemen, training out of Celtic Warriors Gym, Dublin, Ireland, with a record of 2 and 0. Oh. Make some noise for Danielson O'Sullivan! By Elite Sports Promotion and Sheer Sports, my name is Phil Campbell and I'm joined in commentary by WBO European super lightweight champion, Mr. Sean McComb. And Sean, we are set for a fantastic card of action tonight. Yes, yes, we are indeed. There's a great lineup, a uh, great lineup of uh, Irish talent. Um, and I'm intrigued to see, see, see what they get up to today. Daniel O'Sullivan, two and O oh in the black with gold trim, taking on Ruben Angulo in the black and red trim. Daniel Sullivan, a fantastic undefeated prospect. Has a tough fight in front of him here against the vastly more experienced Ruben Angulo. Yeah, yeah, it's, he's, he's, come out, he's come out great with a start, start with a jab. Um, I'd like to see him just start off nice and slow, take his time, don't rush anything. Um, uh, you know, these Colombian fighters can be dangerous too at times, so it's just important to stick to the, the game plan and don't rush anything too soon. Fantastic boxing pedigree from at many of the South American countries, but that is a cultured jab, as you've alluded to, Sean. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You can see he, he's launching him with a, with a backhand, with a, an overhand right. Um, you can see Daniel's keeping that lead hand a bit low. He'll, he'll have to keep that up and, and be aware that that's coming. And it's a great body shot there, a great body shot. He's mixing up his levels well, working the head with the jab, bringing the defense high, and then going lower. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about keeping him guessing, you know. And and as we said, we stated early on. Um, Angulo's going to be dangerous here. Um, he's going to come to fight. He's not going to come and just be a punch bag. You can see early on here, he, he's letting the shots go. And, and we can hear them here. We can hear them from ringside, you know. <laughs> so it's you can see what Angulo's trying to do. He's trying to get a read on O'Sullivan. And a couple of times, he tried to load that counter hook. Yeah, he, he looks the bigger man as well, Angulo. Um, Very calm as well. Yeah. Nice and loose, evading some of those shots. Needs to get his back off the... Great body shot. Great body shot here by O'Sullivan. Like a well-trained sniffer yeah, dog, he is shots, finding yeah. the body every time. Yeah, this is good. Good start this, uh, early on, especially working to the body. Ang Angolo's moving on the back foot. These body shots going to slow his feet work down. And, um, it's an investment, really, isn't it, Sean? Yeah. Getting those shots into the body, depleting your opponent going into later rounds. Yeah, of course. You'll, you'll see how, uh, how well Angolo started moving. We'll see how this goes on as the fight progresses. And uh, I'm sure these body shots will, will have a say in that. Gullo keep him very low when he's rolling. That's lovely. He needs to be careful not to walk into the likes of an uppercut. Yeah. But he just needs to, O'Sullivan just needs to keep touching with the jab, keep touching with the jab, keep him busy, keep him thinking. And you can see Angolo's trying to ca catch shots with his hands. Mm. Um, and that's where the openings come from. Um, so the opening will come. He just has to stay patient. Like this, lovely, lovely. It's a beautiful shot to the body once again from Danielson. His lead hand is very strong. Um, a lot, a lot of boxers just use that uh, lead hand uh, for distance. Was a range finder, yeah. Yeah, as a range finder. Um, O'Sullivan seems to be getting a serious whip on it, and and, and you can start to see it now. And, and Golu's feeling that. Oh, oh lovely, beautiful, right hand. Slip lovely and counter rip. right hand. Yes, lovely. 
And Daniel, for a 2 and old prospect, looks very, very calm and assured in there. Yeah, yeah, he settled down lovely. It um, was a great first round, absolute, uh, exactly how shooter went. Obviously, it's the laundry shots. Yeah, I would say ju ju just grind them out with a jab. Yep. Don't fall in, don't smother your work, stay in control. Just keep that jab going like this. Just as you say. And the openings will come, the openings will come. Mystic McComb calls it and it happens. Here we go, here we go. Needs to be. He doesn't need to be in here. You see, this is, this is pocket fight, and he yeah. doesn't need to be doing that right he now at he all. Can, he can control this fight with just a jab, and he'll look, he'll look better doing so. Needs to be oh. wary of the counter yeah. from Angulo. Up cut there, yeah. Angulo uh, is still, he's still going to be dangerous. You know, early on in the rounds, before he fatigues, he's going to still have that bit of sting in his punches. And it must be After, said. Oh, lovely body shot again. It must be said. This is a six rounder. Yeah, exactly. So. A high enough tempo here, both fighters will feel it come the sixth round. A little bit of separation and oh. really fighting at range is working. Oh, oh big shot walk over the in, top, yeah, just clipped. This is what he needs to be aware of. He needs to be aware of just walking in. He can't walk mm. this guy down and, and not to take anything in return. Um, I would like to see Daniel just keeping the job going and staying at distance because he does need to be in here. He's taking unnecessary shots. It's the the counter lead hand from Angulo is the one oh, that's landed lovely. a couple of times. Now all he needs to do now after this is take a walk. He's got his shots off, go for a walk. Take your time. Yeah, land your shots, get out of the danger yep, zone and course. reset. Oh, geez, Good head movement. Oh, Good that's head a beautiful movement. rear shot. It almost feels like Angulo's trying to bait him into something a little bit yeah. with the head movement. Oh, like this, right hand over the top again. I would like to see a lovely, lovely body shot. If Daniel's going, oh, again, if Daniel's going to shot. walk forward, I would like to see him walk forward and counter mm. from an attack. So if he's walking in, a bit of head movement, and then counter off that. He clipped him with the uppercut there, just brought the chin up a little bit. Yeah. Would have liked to see him follow that up with a nice straight once you brought the chin up. Of course, yeah. The, the middle distance is suiting Daniel, but when he falls in the close distance, mm -hmm. he, he's, he's walking right into Angulo's uh, territory, and that's where he doesn't want to be. Is that a little bit of perhaps an experience or naivety of the 2-0 you know, fighter coming in against the more experienced fighter? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, Angolo's probably been around. He's, he's had a lot more fights. He's had he's had tough tests in the past. He, he knows how to survive. And, and um, I think uh, O'Sullivan's just trying to blast him out. Well, it's not going to be the case. It, it, he's been around the block, this guy, Angolo, so he needs to just take his time, and, and it will come. After the body shot, the rear hook seems to be the go-to shot for Angulo oh. here. And a couple of times the hands have oh, been low. Oh, lovely shot again. Good defense after the attack. This is this, this is more like Daniel, you know. Get your shots off, defend after, look good doing so, and then go again. And he's doing a good job of not, well, it's oh. a little bit of a counter shot there. It's the counter shots for Angulo yeah. that have been the more successful. See, Angulo's catching, mm. and then coming straight back when the defense is down of, of O'Sullivan. But again, another good round for O'Sullivan. Gab like, has been money. The body work has been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think his punch selection overall has been absolutely phenomenal. Yep. Uh, he's slacked in head, body. He's got a variety, a full variety of in his arsenal there, and and um, it's it's they're all landing. Yeah, it's clean the, fundamentals and yeah, fundamentals 100%. win fights. It's just the defense. Yep. Everything else is bang on. I would just like to see a bit more defense. He, he's been doubling and tripling up on the jab there. The corner yeah. obviously sees something. Yeah. Oh yeah, in close quarters once again. Using the jab well, but yeah. again, that counter shot. Good shot right up the middle from O'Sullivan. I would like to see if, if O'Sullivan's going to go in so close, I would like to see a bit of angles, create, mm. a, create more angles. And this is by using the feet, um, rather than just planting the feet, staying static. Go round him, start to use that sort of shifting, slip shift round him, get the openings, and then let them go. Oh, lovely, lovely shots. Good punch selection again. That's probably the most significant shot of the fight so far. Yeah. And he's starting, you see, he's starting to implement that movement really yeah, well now. The, the head movement's coming in, and he, he's defending before he attacks, and he's, he's defending after he attacks, which is great to see. Needs to be wary of overcommitting to the shots. Yeah. Nice straight there from Angulo, just land it clean. See, Angulo has great upper body movement. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't, it doesn't look like he has a stamina to come back with any punches or the counter attack. Maybe that's due to the body shots that happened early on. Mm. 
Oh, lovely shot, beautiful lovely shot. shot. Good defence after. Well, yep. Again, lovely defence. Body is wide open lovely. there again. He's starting to get a read on that roll from Angulo. Yeah. He knows what's coming back now. He can tame it a bit better now. I just, I would, I just would like to see him get curlish and leave himself open because he knows, he knows the timing of the shots. And those are the fine margins in boxing. You can't turn off no, even for a split, split second. Exactly it. Yep. Oh, nice Lovely. stinging uppercut. Good uppercut. Yeah, the uppercut's on now. I think he'll start throwing it more regularly now. What would you follow the uppercut up with if you if you know you're going to get that that reaction from the a uppercut? Lead hook. Yep. I would follow the, the uppercut with a lead hook because you bring him up with the back with the back uppercut, mm -hmm. the head's going to be in the air and you come across the chin with a, with a uh, left hook. Lovely. Oh. Even those little short shots now, he's seeing those little pockets and yeah. finding them. He's just out working on Golo now and close. He's just letting even mm. even when there's no power involved. Um, they're still going to take a lot out of him, and he, you know it's it's just out working him now, even in this close to, close range. Lovely. Oh, another they're solid shot. They're shots. They're, they're, they're sore shots. I mean, mm. they, these guys have eight inch gloves on, um, and Angolo will be feeling these, no doubt. Good head movement. For an well, another great round. Almost all of them. Yeah, but I mean, these rounds here, you can't buy them. This is this is going to stand oh. by you forever. Yeah, I would like to see him just, just, just steal this round with a job, simple job. Changing the levels between head and body, and uh, and it could be almost like a round off, mm. but still win it comfortably and look good doing so. Good, good job, lovely. The movement of Angolo seems to be slowing down a little bit. Yeah, the feet have slowed down, yeah. Good yes. job. Sullivan doing a real solid job of pinning Angulo in here. Yeah, that's that stabbing body shot to the solar plex yeah. area um, from O'Sullivan's great. Lovely shot, lovely shot. Eats a big shot in reply. Yeah. As again, that, that little bit of complacency perhaps. Or again, yeah. fatigue could be creeping in, you don't know. Yeah. Lovely. The lead hook, oh. as I said, he's, he's, got a, he's hurt him here now. He hurt him to the body there. He needs to keep putting it on him now, get the opening. Little bit okay. of a wobble again. Yeah, good. Maybe pull the gloves, get an opening. Lovely. Rip the guard down, come over the top. Yeah. And just I like that O'Sullivan's not rushing his work yeah, here. He's taking his time. Yep. He knows he's hurt him, but he's just biting his time. He knows it will come. Lovely. Good shot again. I love how he gets the whip on that lead hook to the body. It's it's a great shot. This balance is perfect for it. Good work, good. He's just out working him now, you know. He, See these shots? They're not even. He's not putting all the power in the world in these. He's just letting them rip through yep. technique, and, and they're hurting more. It's about sixty percent power he's throwing yep. with, but it's the cumulative effect and the yeah, cumulative 100%. damage. And, 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 and this will, this, this is what's going to get him over the line. You know, this will maybe get him an early night. As a, as an MMA Good guy, shot. it reminds me a little bit of one of the Diaz brothers. That kind yeah, of cumulative. Yeah. Keep him at the end of the shots. Yep. Keep working. Outwork. Outwork them. Mm. Um, don't go over that threshold of. Bl blowing yourself out with serious power shots. Just outwork. Yeah, he's doing a good job of rolling with some of these yeah. shots from Angulo. Big deep breath there from yeah. Angulo. He's feeling it now. He's yep. definitely feeling it. And I know that's the body shots. Um, speaking from personal experience, I know that he'll be <laughs> feeling this. Oh, oh lovely, lovely shot yes. over the top. Again, that came from the counter, from the slip, you know. Perhaps watching the best round for Daniel O'Sullivan yeah, so far in the course of the fight. And, and this all was set off from the jab. Mm -hmm. This was all set off from the jab early on. Um, Again, that shows the importance of the jab in yeah. combat sports, whether it be boxing, MMA, kickboxing. It's sometimes overlooked and underutilized. Yeah, because the thing is, people think you can't be hurt with a jab, but you're not trying to hurt with a jab. You're just trying to open, and open all of their areas to hurt someone. It's yeah. You're very rarely going to score a goal with a goalkeeper, but he's an integral part of the team. 100%, exactly it. Another great round. Best, Another best round in the so bank, far. yep. Yeah, Things best. for O'Sullivan. Yeah, well, if he's going to continue to move on the back foot, if he's going to let um, O'Sullivan dictate the ring yep. by moving forward, then it's going to make it harder for, for Angolo. But, you know, if Angolo can force him back and dictate these next two rounds with the pace, mm. then... 
he, he has he will have half a chance you know, of of pulling something back. But the way things are going now, and you can see right away from the start of his fifth round that O'Sullivan comes straight out on the front foot, that he knows he's just going to play on. As simple as wax on, wax off for Danielson. This is it, Danielson. Danielson's been here before. He's done it, and uh, you can see it. You can see it at his performance. And he's still moving just as well, just as fluidly as he was in the first round. Yeah, he's, he's more comfortable now. Yep. He's felt on Golo's power. He knows what he's up against. He's, he's not in any danger. And he, it just looks like now nah, he's enjoying it. And he's got that head movement, the jab up and down, changing the levels, like I said. And, 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 and if he keeps this going, he's going to get an opening upstairs. Changing the levels brilliantly, as you alluded to, Sean. And backing Angulo into the corner once again. And again, it's it's frequency and volume. It's not these these crazy power shots that fatigue the arms, yeah. that, that make you tired. Frequency and volume really has been the key here for O'Sullivan. Yeah, hundred percent. If he just if he drops the level of power and he just lets the volume the volume shots go, and I mean, a ten punts flurry here could potentially stop this fight. You know, a, a quick ten ten punts flurry with fifty percent power, and Golo's not going to come back with any any punches. And he's and not. Uh, He's not really allowing Angolo to settle here at all. Oh, he's he's keeping that jab in his face. Lovely shots, good. Good counter attack. Fainted with the jab there, come over the top, very clean. Good head movement as well. A nice evasive work again. You sense that there's potentially a finish in this round, Sean. Yeah, yeah, 100%. There's still good head movement. Mm. What he could do is, is let Angolo come on to him and he can maybe catch his own and come back with a counter. Mm. Um, just to change it up a bit, change the tactics up a bit. There we go, our lovely, lovely shot over the top. Angolo with a nice double jab into the street. As I said before, Angolo's going to come to fight. Um, it's in his nature, and and this is exactly what he's doing now. And, and I love Ty O'Sullivan spun him round and, mm. and took over, and that put him in the corner in the end. You know, really stamped his authority yeah, on 100%. it. One hundred percent. Again, serious workmanlike yeah. performance from O'Sullivan doing everything he needs to do. It's been a great first fight, a great first fight of the night mm. um, so far. It's all action. That jab, he's starting to put a little bit more sting on the yeah, end of that jab. Percent. He's stepping him with it now, you can see his feet moving with the jab. And that wee flurry there just looks classy. No par, it's classy, pure classy. You got a wee roar from the crowd. final round of a fight that you've dominated. Do you try and cap off the performance with a finish or do you play safe and, and continue in the same regard you did rounds one to five? Well, we'll give, if I was Pascal, I would tell Daniel to go out now and enjoy it. Yeah. Go out and enjoy it. If something presents itself, 100%. take it. If something comes up, if you, if you feel you've hurt him or you feel there's an opening there, take it. But, but don't go hunting it. Enjoy it. Go enjoy it. Yep. Enjoy the performance. Angulo's still proving yeah. that he's here to fight. He's not just, he's still firing he's back. He's still there and he's got the head movement. He's still got that lateral movement. And look, you can see he's still got a good defense here. But ideally with that head movement, with that movement, you'd like to see him throw him back afterwards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I just don't think, as I said before, the, the body Ooh. shots are catching up on him now. And lovely. Stepping out of the pocket with a hands down is dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous, all right. Even in these later rounds, you know. Oh, lovely, Ooh. lovely lead hook. Lovely lead hook. The Colombian seems intent on staying yeah. into the fight to the very end. Yeah, huh? yeah. he, he won't want to come here and, and take a, a, a loss via TKO or referee stop the contest. He, he'll wanna, he, he wants to put his mark. And, I mean, he'll always be considered as a, as a future opponent for another coming, mm. uh, coming through Irish fighter or, or whatever else. So... He won't want to go out that way. He'll want to go out on his feet. The hands have lowered significantly of Angulo. Yeah. And there's little, even the little things like his, there's little gaps there in his guard. Yeah. That jab is penetrating right through. I'm sure he's just looking to see the final bell now. I'm mm. sure he's just eager to see the final bell. And, and it's been a tough night for him. And the body shots from Daniel from Brennan, they've been very eye catching. and some of his punch selection's been brilliant. The variety's been class, and he just needs to be switched on for, me, for, yep. for a surprise attack like this from Angulo. Oh, 
Lovely. Nice smile there from Angelo. That usually tells you he's hurt. Yep. He, he, he's, he's hurt him slightly. Good. He's firing back. He's catching and going. But that jab work throughout the course of the fight, rounds one to six, has been fantastic from Daniel yeah, Sullivan. Yeah, it's been a difference. It's been a difference. Lovely lead up or cut left, take your body, great shots. And that's, that's, that's all predicated off the jab that keeps the guard yeah. high and then under that elbow with a beautiful body shot. Yeah, 100%. Momentarily looked like Angulo was going for a guillotine there. Oh, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Good job again, that's it. Busy with the job, it's when the rest of the round now with the job. Mm. Last 10 seconds. This is the furry now, we furry just to finish the round would be nice. Good head movement, still very capable, showing how supremely conditioned O'Sullivan is. There you have it. There you have it. Great fight. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both fighters. They open up the show in style for us. At the sixth grade round, we go to referee's score totals. Referee Portugal Rotterdam has it 60-54 in favor of your winner. By unanimous decision, he now moves to 3-0 in his professional career. Daniel Sullivan.